Today, we're going to look at using the RavPower FileHub Plus with the LumaFusion video editing software for your iPad and iPhone. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here today. We're going to look at the RavPower FileHub Plus and how you can use that with LumaFusion, which is a great video editing software for your iOS device. I'm going to show it to you here on iPad 2018. The RavPower File Hub will allow you to be able to transfer SD card files over to any device, really. In this particular case, it will be with an iPad. But also, LumaFusion has added integration with this particular device so that you can transfer files wirelessly on your iPad, which is really convenient. You don't have to worry about trying to get it wired up. And then with Sony files, there are some challenges as well. So this will overcome those. And basically, we're going to go ahead and open up the sources. We can add a server here. And you can see that the file hub has shown up. It's fill hub. I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password. And now that the password is entered, you can see that we have this SD card volume one, which is the SD card that's currently inside of the file hub, which has some video files on it. And you tap on that and you can see the file structure here. And this is from a Sony camera. So you can see that the file structure is a little different maybe than a lot of other cameras. As far as video goes, usually video in a lot of other cameras is in this DSIM folder and it's not with Sony. So you have to navigate to private and then MP4 root and then clip. And so now you can see I have files of varying sizes here. So what you would do is you would select the files that you want to transfer over. So let's just select a couple of these files. And then we're going to go ahead and transfer them over. And now you see that it's downloading the media. So it's taking those file files from your SD card and transfer them wirelessly to the iPad. And you can see right now it's transferring a file of 132 megabytes, which is a 1080p file, roughly about 30 seconds or so. So it'll give you an idea on the transfer speed. This does support 300 megabits transfer, which is the highest it can be set to, and that's what it's on now. So I will say that it's not the fastest way to transfer files. If you could wire, wire up a solution, it probably would be better, but it's definitely convenient. You can see the files here are downloading. And then once the files are downloaded, we'll go ahead and see what you can do with them inside of the LumaFusion app. Okay, so now with a file downloaded, you can see that it shows up over here in your assets. You simply just tap it and bring it over to your timeline. And now you can use that video inside of LumaFusion to do your editing. And it does actually copy the entire file over. Some solutions like the Narbox just will copy whatever you kind of edit here if you mark in and out points. The Narbox will just copy that over. For this particular case, the, it copies the entire file first, then you can edit it. And then once you export it, it will export out to your iPad. I hope you found this useful, interesting, if you're new here, again, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click on that bell icon that will allow you to be notified whenever we go live or we upload a new video. Get out there and have your photo gear fun. I will talk at you again in the next video.